3D printing also helped me become a better engineer, right? Like now I can have an idea and say, hey, I want to have a DBZ scouter on the podcast this week. I just went into a CAD software and designed this and 3D printed it. And here it is. Like it's, it's, it's wild that, that I can do that. Like to me, it's crazy to think that I would just be able to do this. Just think about it and put it out there. That's a combination of over 15 years of CAD, of, of designing in 3D. That's 10 years of 3D printing and having our, our own 3D printer in our lab and running a business and working at a company that sells 3D printers and working with all these different materials, metals, composites. It's from the experience that I can come on this podcast and talk to you with some confidence. One of my other jobs was working at a 3D scanning company. Back then, uh, we were using very high quality professional scanners. We talked about in our episode over the holidays with Matt Schricker of Bastronomy, but we talked about 3D scanning and how far it's come from $10,000 plus machines to this Revo Point Inspire scanner, which was $250 And what I did was I wanted that scanner. The first version, obviously, is just a prop, right? We weren't actually hoping that this was going to stick onto my ear. It was just for play. But I figured, all right, I might want to dress up for this for cosplay one time. So let's scan my ear and my face around there so I can make this custom, right? Because I have glasses. I'd like to just be able to keep the glasses on. Um, I've also got a big dome. Well, let me scan my ear and I'll use that as a template to find my like forehead distance and all that stuff. And then we made this. Is it perfect? No, I would never have done this if I needed 100% confidence, but I figured out that the hook around my ear, the fit is perfect. I've got to thicken some things up, but I'm building my confidence. And I'm not waiting until I'm 100% confident or even 70% confident before I move forward with an idea. The confidence is through every single 3D print and every single design. And that is iterative as a process. That's the iterative design process. But confidence is not a one or zero. It's not a yes or no. It is a level. So go out there. Check your levels on everything. Don't talk out of turn. But speak up when something is truthful. (laughs) 